What's going on everyone and welcome back to today's video. Very glad you're here, thanks for clicking on today's video. We're going to be talking about the delayed coaster over at Flamingo Land, of course the 10 looping inversion uh, coaster that's going to be opening later this year. But if you haven't already everyone, remember to subscribe for more awesome theme park content and let me know if you have done down below and I love responding to all your comments. Thanks everyone for subscribing. But yeah, let's talk about this new multi-looping roller coaster. Now of course, this new 10 inversion multi-looping roller coaster was meant to open last year but being scheduled to this year now it's been delayed I, th I believe it's been delayed again this year it's gonna be opening sometime this year I do believe but I still do think it's gonna be not in the summertime it, I think well actually I do I do think it's gonna be summertime but not at the start of this season now I think it has been fully built fully constructed but I don't think it's gonna be opening straight away on the 12th of April along with the park opening I think it's gonna be opening in the summer Still fine, I'm heading over there in the summer. It's gonna be great to get to Flamingo Land, but I hope it's open when we go. Nice, nice addition to Flamingo Land. And of course the park is expanding. Really nice to see a new coaster go in. And of course this new thrill ride is located on the former site of the corkscrew. Not Austin Towers corkscrew, that went a long time ago, of course for 13. Uh, but yeah, this, this uh, was removed, this corkscrew ride over in 2011. And a number of small rides have been relocated from this site. Of course, that's where they probably were on the corkscrew site for this new coaster. It looks really good. Cannot wait to get on this coaster and it looks fantastic. Now, this exciting new coaster is a very similar track layout to Colossus over at Thorpe Park. Of course, also 10 inversions. I love Colossus, just wish they had nicer restraints. Now, pretty sure this one is a lap bar coaster. Don't get me wrong, it might be similar restraints to Colossus, but I'm pretty sure it's a lap bar restraint. Might get some more details as I'm going through. I'm reading a bit of a script that I've written and a few different facts now or, or that I found online of this coaster and of course some from Flamingo Land themselves that they've released. Now this new ride was manufactured by Intamin, of course, a big, big, big company who does produce a lot of coasters. I think they've also got a few other Intamin coasters over at uh, Flamingo Land. So I think that's kind of a company they work with to build some of their new coasters. Now, of course, some similar details over on Intamin's website of this ride. Not going to go into too much, but if you want to find out even more fun facts about this new coaster opening at Flamingo Land, go head over to Intamin's website and they'll tell uh, you some very interesting facts about a similar model that has been constructed at a different park over in the world that is very similar to Flamingo Land's new coaster now. Uh, it's going to be anticipated that the, it's going to be happening over the few months, as I said, maybe summertime. And the rides and ports apparently will be painted black and the track going to be painted silver. But looking at it, um, in some vlogs I've seen, it was red and yellow, but maybe they're going to be painting it a different colour. But on the map, it looks like it's going to be red, uh, not red, sorry, black and silver. But it might just be because it's uh, don't, they don't want it to stand out too much on the map. But... Um, that might be what it is. And of course the trains on the park map have been painted with the Union Jack flag. Maybe this is actually gonna be happening. This is gonna be the colors of it. Maybe that was just what the colors were when they received it. So, you know, uh, maybe maybe we'll see uh, a black and white coast, not black and white, black and gray, sorry, um, coaster coming to the park. Maybe it's gonna be painted that with a nice Union Jack flag painted on it. That will look really nice. Nice British coaster. That's what we like to see at the parks. Uh, but yeah, this, this new coaster looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, as I said, the, it did look red and yellow uh, in the pictures that I've seen in the vlogs, but it looks really nice coaster. As I said, not exactly like Colossus, but very similar in the way it's laid out. The first drop and loop are completely different. Um, of course, you've got the main first loop as the first inversion, but it's still quite a different how you go down and then around. Colossus, you go straight down into the loop. This one is a little bit different in how it's laid out. But yeah, nice to try something different. Can't wait to get on it later this year. Hopefully it's open in the summer when I visit, but it's gonna be great to experience this new ride at Flamingo Land Resort for 2021. Of course, it was open, meant to open last year, but it was delayed because of COVID. But yeah, great to see this coaster come into the Flamingo Land Resort. Nice new coaster coming to the UK. Can't wait to experience it. But that's been it for me today, everyone. Not the longest of videos. There wasn't much to talk about, just a pretty brief kind of go over if it's been delayed or not at the park. But yeah, that's been it for me today, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning into today's video. Remember to subscribe for more awesome theme park content. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Dislike if you don't. Let me know what type of videos you enjoy on the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone. And I'll see you all later.
Goodbye.